Simple, of course, is a player that needs no introduction, but even though he's been in the spotlight for years, I think Simple's playstyle is a little misunderstood, and to down train, we're going to set that record straight. So with Simple, the Ukrainian sniper loves to be a menace around these trains on the outer bomb site. And after he finds this pick, notice how Simple is constantly on the move, aggressively peeking into Pop Dog. He bodies Res. Repositioning again for the third. You can just see how Simple is completely relentless with switching up his spots and getting aggressive after finding those frags. So, like all top orpers, Simple, he'll start most rounds over towards the A bomb site, but on occasion, he likes to switch it up, give his opponents different looks, and obviously on this one, he started off towards that to B ramp to get to the opening pick. So, the big topic we're going to focus on in this one is Simple's rotations and how he processes the communication coming from his comrades. So, on this one, NIP, they're going to start applying some pressure towards Ivy. Flamey communicates that back to Simple and Simple, he's on the move. So the big risk here is that NIP, they get it out and into the back lane sides, and Simple, he's covering that one off. And notice how Simple here, he's aiming lower than normal, he's expecting the crouch peak to be coming out from those NIP players. So a standard IV and nade set comes out from NIP, Simple decides he wants to fall back, and his game sense here is crazy good as he predicts a player might have pushed through, having heard Simple falling back. So at this point, his teammates in Perfecto and Flamey, they're communicating back, the two players are pushing onto that B bomb site. Simple, he rotates over and holds the site cross for his third kill of the round. Now, Simple isn't just a wild animal who constantly pushes without thought. He keeps his opponents on their toes by switching up his positioning and make some great rotations to alleviate the pressure on his teammates. So on this one, we join with Na'Vi playing a three-man setup around these trains on the outer bomb site. And typically, you'll play three on A with two on B on train during the late round. And on A, you'll either play in towards Pop Dog or towards Main. And clearly, on this one, Na'Vi, they are doing the latter. So simple, he's playing around this brown train. He's holding main. We've got Boomich on top of the blue train. He's jiggling Pop Dog and finally Electronic. He's on top of the green train and he is tasked with holding Ivy. So Astralis on this one, they're going to be splitting the A bomb site coming from Pop Dog, main, and Ivy. And simple, he's going to get caught in a really, really rough spot on this one. So simple here, he's seen nothing in main for literally a minute. And when he starts hearing these players in towards Pop Dog, he's a little bit nervous than coming out from that area. So he wants to swing out and peek. But Magis here, he swings out at the worst possible time. And now simple, he needs to be thinking really, really fast on his feet. So simple, he makes the instant reaction to flick back, gets the kill on two Dupree, and there is zero hesitation. He gets the trade here on to Glaive. Now, device, he'd managed to sneak his way out of Ivy. He shot Simple in the back, but Electronic up here on the green train, nobody's seen him at all for the entire round, and he mops up those remaining players. Now, this round wasn't really about tactical brilliance or anything. All the top teams play setups like these. It's more so a great example of where Simple's mechanics can make a difference. Considering how badly Simple, Boomich, and Electronic got timings, this was pretty much the worst case scenario for them. And if Simple misses even one of those shots in no world, does Na'Vi win the round? So finally, we're seeing a bit more of a standard opening coming out from Simple. He's playing towards Connector early, gets flashed pretty badly, so he falls back behind the bomb train. And now he's going to flash Electronic in for a bit of a peek into main. Electronic swings on the flash, gets some nice information. Now, Perfecto over on B, he's also seen some players. With all this nice information, Simple can inform himself and decide to lean on towards that B bomb site. And he's going to move to playing behind this grey train. I think the reason he's doing this is all to do with flashbangs. And let me explain what on earth I mean by that. So, when the T side goes for a B pop execute onto this B bomb site, every single top team, without fail pretty much, is going to do it in exactly the same way. They're going to use two flashes to pop out. They're going to use one closed flash, which comes through the skylight. That's going to pop just above simple scope here. And they're going to use a second deeper flash, which is going to come out here, pop above simple's head, 
and this is to push back any orpus towards connector or around the brown train or whatever that are holding on towards ramp and those are going to pop as i said just above simple's head here so simple he's jiggling in and out here behind the train he'll probably dodge the close flash and the deep flash is going to land above his head and barely wise him at all and we also have Perfecto here, he's playing this spot on top of the grey train. It's not a brilliant spot for actually holding up, but it means he can swing into fighting ramp as well. And he's also anti-flashed all of those flashes because he's looking left. Now Astralis, they're going to run a B-pop like any other team would. Simple, does a good job dodging the flashes. He has the first frag and then he can re as again after device fires his shots and he's cocking that orb again. And Simple here, he does a great job just to stay alive and allow his teammates rotating in and on the flank to make their way over. Now, on the one hand, you could argue that Simple and Perfecto were playing a calculated setup to counter those B-pop strategies, where Perfecto was anti-flash and Simple was jiggling in and out and trying to dodge all the others. And then they could double face ramp when the hit actually comes in. But equally, maybe they both just wanted to play some semi-aggressive positions and take some fights. Either way, it's clear that sitting back and being passive does not compute with Simple's playstyle. So just like earlier, Simple, he's starting off this round towards the B ramp. Now they're getting this entry onto next of Boomich. He's going to get aggressive towards the A main area, and he goes down, putting Na'Vi into a four on four. So at this point, Simple, he makes the right decision with the information available to him. He knows there were T players in towards main, so he's just going to play 3A with his teammates and leave Perfecto pushed into this upper B position. And at this point, it feels like Simple is really enjoying himself. And if you are too, make sure you hit that subscribe button because nothing makes me happier than getting new subscribers. Well, actually, there was that Russian girl who could use her tongue. Oh, sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting distracted here. Back to the CS. So what's going on? Simple, he's repositioned into playing around the sandwich area. And the G2 team, they're going to throw a fake on towards this B bomb site. And as these nades start to come in, what's going to happen is that Flamey, he's going to rotate off. And Simple, he wants to play wider on towards main to get some more information. Now, of course, these two A players here, they don't have any nades remaining. Of course, G2, they're dumping all their remaining nades onto B. They're forced contact in the first kill. Simple, it's easy, but repositioning with the flash. The second one here is just disgusting. Simple's mobility is always sublime. Starting off here towards B ramp, Nexa peeks into him, then moving over towards Sandwich, where G2 probably didn't expect him. The Ukrainian stays unpredictable with his positioning and is a total nightmare to play against. So on the CT side of train, Orpers will often start the round towards Connector. And notice how simple here is playing nice and wide on Connector. He loves to do this. And this is because it's easier to hit this shot as the T player comes out of main, probably jumping into Olof. And also any T Orpers will not be expecting you on this sort of angle. And it works out perfectly for simple with this entry frag. So now in this man advantage, electronic he decides to get aggressive he's going to push into sandwich and get some good information for his team he knows no terrorist players are out of main and onto the bomb site and also perfecto he spotted some players on towards b to simple he eventually makes the call to commit to playing on the b bomb site now they've got this information so simple he's going to drop his molly and reposition into playing behind the bomb train on the bomb site and earlier on, I could defend the call to play behind the grey train, but this is just madness. And despite being in this unorthodox setup, Simple and Perfecto still managed to combine for three kills before being punished for having nobody holding upper. So it's fairly clear from this one and the other B hold we saw previously that Simple and his teammates have no intentions of letting the terrorists out and onto the site itself. They want to take the fights against them as they're making their way out of ramp whilst they're still exposed. So let's take a look at another three man A setup coming out from Na'Vi. So Flamey, he's going to rotate off. We've got Simple here, he's playing towards the end of the brown train and he's scoped up on Ivy. We've got Electronic, he's playing in towards main, he's pushed in, he's holding this area. And finally, we have Boomich, who again, he's playing on top of that blue train and he's jiggling onto Popdog. 
Now a potential problem in this sort of setup for Simple is if the T side managed to get out of Pop Dog and start taking some fights, he's very exposed here towards the end of the brown train. So Simple, he needs to be ready to pivot into fighting Pop Dog or he's just going to get shot in the back when he's looking in the wrong direction. And the other thing is the Boomich up here on the blue train, he can't really stay here forever and take loads of fights. If he gets flashed or if he even starts firing any shots, he's got to fall off or he's just going to die to the T side. So... What's going to happen here is that the T side in Gambit, they're going to start throwing some smokes on towards Zada bomb site. And Simple decides it's very likely the T side, they're going to be coming out of Pop Dog or Main. They decide to start fighting in towards Pop Dog. And the way that Simple plays around this E box for these two frags is absolutely sensational. And this final frag onto Main and Simple peeks out just oozes pure confidence. So throughout, we have seen Simple's lightning fast decision making in some tricky spots. And there's not a shred of doubt in my mind that the Ukrainian is anything but the best on the planet in dealing with these high octane, high pressure scenarios. So I think the best way to describe Simple's style is by saying it's one of total confidence. He's certainly aggressive, but he makes far fewer mistakes than most other AWPers whilst in situations where everything could quickly turn south. So in this one, we join Na'Vi in a 4 on 4 scenario, and Stavin, he's managed to lurk his way all the way out into this back lanes area. And at this point, Simple is playing in Connect, he's fast on the rotates, but Na'Vi as a whole, they're really lacking for information. Simple, he seems conscious that a player could be in the back lanes area, but he's not really sure where to look, and he makes the decision just in time to commit to playing on B and post himself up on ramp. Now spotting Nico on upper, the bomb is dropped by the Great Zone, so he has to cross, post up on default, and find the frag. And holy cow, is Stavin going to be really upset about not finding this frag onto Simple. Now, the Ukrainian always makes for some crazy frags and highlights, yet despite treading so close to that precipice of pure insanity, there's most certainly a method to the madness with Simple. And he has complete confidence in his ability to perform in positions where the vast majority would crumble.